And the final match of the day was a historic one, my friend, mm -hmm. with Tajikistan facing off against the UAE, a game, the only game in the round of 16 where we um, actually didn't agree on in terms of who would win this yeah. game. You picking Tajikistan, me going with UAE, ends 1-1 in regulation, goes over to extra time, all the way to penalties, and Tajikistan buries all five of their penalties to win this game 5-3. to three. Your immediate reaction with Tajikistan making it to the quarterfinals on their debut. Yeah, what a magical run Tajikistan is on. A dramatic late win against Lebanon to even qualify for this round of 16. And once again, they leave it as late as they possibly can to defeat the UAE. But a historic moment for this Tajikistan side as they will now play in the quarterfinals, the top eight sides they've put themselves in in this AFC Asian Cup in their debut. But my goodness, bro, it did not have to be like this. Mm -mm. It did not have to go to penalties. I'm going to cut to the 60th oh. minute. We're over the span of, I'm going to say like 10 minutes, Tajikistan crafted four goal-scoring opportunities and did not put a single one away. And I'm going to go ahead and list them out right now, yeah. dude. <laughs> yeah. They win the ball in the midfield, oh. and there's a wide-open Jalilov. And they over mm. they overdo the pass. That's one. Mm -hmm. Then they win it back in the midfield again. This time they actually do get the ball to Jalilov, yep. but he doesn't have the pace. The defenders catch up to him and he can't get a clean shot off. The third chance, once again, beautiful build up on the left hand side, slip ball into Jalilov, mm -hmm. and he just does not connect with it, man. Fast forward yeah. like five, six minutes later. A really nice penetration move on the right-hand side from the Tajikistani player drills it across the box. Jalilov wide open to just put it in, make it 2-0. And he just does not have the composure. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Simply does not have the composure for huge Done. chances for Tajikistan, which would have made it 2-0. There's no way the UAE would have come back from that. And then, yeah, it was those misses that actually bit Tajikistan, haunted them, because the UAE got a stoppage time equalizer off of a really nice free kick. But my goodness, man, Tajikistan should have made this two, possibly even 3-0 before that equalizing goal. And overall, even with those missed chances, even with it going to penalties ultimately, Tajikistan were the better side today. Oh, easily, yeah. bro. I found myself rooting for this team. Go, given that I predicted against them, after 30 minutes in this match, it was clear Tajikistan was the better team, the more motivated side. And I thought overall, Peter Seeger, I thought he got it right. Yeah. He got it absolutely right today. If Jalilov could finish one of those opportunities, he'd be looking like an absolute genius yeah. right now. With the way he planted his team in that second half and took on that pressure from UAE, where all UAE could really do was just pass it around the box, bro. It was 45 minutes of just slinging crosses in that were pointless, trying to generate some opportunities and not achieving anything. And what I loved about Tajikistan was that when they were on the counter, when they were given those opportunities to surprise UAE, they were very effective and ready to go, man. It yeah. wasn't those type of teams or those type of moments where you saw like a counterattack happen and it's only one man up going by himself. Every time Tajikistan countered, it was one guy up top and two wing players right there with him yeah. to form like a 3v2 or a 3v3. And that was so beautiful to see. And it generated the opportunities that you just beautifully listed through. The only problem here is, is that Jalilov doesn't know how to fucking finish, yeah, man. man. Good Lord. It's concerning. And it's, it's concerning, concerning dude. because if they can execute the same plan in all the future games, they can be an actual threat. Yeah. The problem is they have to... They have to prove to these teams that they are threatening on the counter. Otherwise, these teams aren't going to be worried about pressing them and sending their men up because they won't be punished for it the way that UAE ultimately wasn't, dude. Yeah. And just to quickly highlight, I want to talk about that lone goal that Tajikistan got in this game because that was a historic moment with uh, Hanonov. Yeah. After 30 minutes in this match, Hanonov, the uh, Tajiki center back who looks like he would have ran the disco scene in the 80s, <laughs> looks like Sean O'Malley's Tajikistan brother, yeah goes up for the ball like Victor Wimbanyama yeah. and fucking dunks that shit, bro, with a beautiful golazo oh, yeah. header off of a very slow but floating cross, puts it into that bottom left corner where Khalid, my boy Khalid, couldn't get to it. Scenes, bro, scenes with a center back up that deep into the offensive point of the pitch and scores a beautiful goal to make it 1-0. What was your reaction when you saw Tajikistan go up? 
Oh, dude, so emotional because they hadn't really crafted a really golden opportunity up until that point. They were pressing for sure, and they finally got rewarded. And it was a center back who actually delivered it to his partner center back in Hanunov, Jura Boev, with a nice little floating ball. And as you said, Hanunov met it so, so well. And you could see the emotion, Seger getting off the bench, the entire team running to Hanunov. And Hanunov, after the celebration, had some tears in, in, the, mm -hmm. tears in yeah. his eyes, knowing that he, they just made history, scoring a knockout stage goal. Not only that, but to take the lead in what was this crazy crazy huge match against the UAE. Yeah, man. man. Beautiful moment, man. And I, I thought this would be a storybook game. Like, I, I thought it would be drama-free even going to like the 85th minute because it just looked like it was so in control for Tajikistan. Yeah. But then that set-piece goal from UAE ties it up and frustrating. In additional time, I think it was like the 93rd minute, they managed to tie it. Uh, I was so upset, yeah. dude. When that went in, first off, the foul to led up to that mm -hmm. set-piece was a little soft in my opinion. Don't really think it should have been called. But again, the, the delivery from al was fantastic. A drilled in ball that had a lot of pace on it and yeah it was found by the uae player to put it away but i was so frustrated mm -hmm. because like you said tajikistan for the last 20 minutes even though the uae were going for it they looked in control they looked fine defensively hananov who did get that goal was amazing defensively all game long so it really hurt me when that when that goal was put in because i was just like damn dude it shouldn't even be 1-1 it should be 2-3-1 at the very mm -hmm. least tajikistan should have been fine so i dude i was just so upset going in extra time and I, honestly really nervous going into penalties oh, because i was be. just like god damn yeah. it like it should just shouldn't even gotten to this point but luckily tajikistan <sighs> stayed calm put away all five penalties yes. so ultimately it did not matter but for the uae man um their, their only true threat this entire match was yaya the left winger when they Overload on the right right hand side and found him on the ISO. Switch it over to him. That's about it. He did hit the post yep. at one point, but other than him, man, UAE really didn't have anything to show offensively. I thought it was a waste to put Caio Canedo as a number nine. He's too talented on the ball to be starting in such an advanced position up the pitch because then at that point he has to find the game when the game should come to him. So I think that was a waste. I think that was a mistake from Paulo Bento. Should have started Saleh. Uh, instead and put Kyle Canelo more in a midfield or wing position. But yeah, the UAE really didn't show much. They had a good start to the second half, but you know, as we said, Tajikistan were always up for it and canceled them out. So again, congratulations to Tajikistan with their best performance in the tournament so far. Just oh, crazy. Dude, man. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, things are looking magical for them and yeah, I mean I, I've never been more happy to be wrong, dude, honestly. Like this UAE side, they tricked me. They tricked me with that result against Hong Kong. Kali got in my head I, as I have a I have an affinity for goalkeepers, man. I really do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so seeing him put on a great performance against Palestine, I was like, man, maybe this team is a team to watch. And then Iran beating them 2-1. But no, I've never been more glad because it's Tajikistan fully deserved it. It was clear after a whole half of football that UAE doesn't have any offensive creativity or even just weapons overall. Yeah. And Tajikistan, man, they have heart. They have chemistry. They have a game plan and they have a passionate coach behind them. They're the team that deserves to be in the top eight of Asia, bro. I repeat, the top eight teams of Asia right now. Sir. Tajikistan is right there, man, and I couldn't be happier. Match rating for this one, I actually have it at a 7.3. I know people might think it should be higher based on the way that we just, we just talked about it, but there was a lot of downtime in this game, man. Oh, there yeah. really was. Oh, no, and, no, no, Like, no, no. extra time was basically just a highlight reel of injuries, man. <laughs> like, that's all that was. That wasn't even a single opportunity, man. Dude, actually, yeah, yeah that's a good point, though, and it's, I think, a point of concern for Tajikistan in the next game because dude they looked exhausted oh, yeah. at the end of this match man so i think that's gonna play a big factor no matter who they play in the quarterfinals but yeah i mean yeah, it was a brutal end of the game man. <laughs> brutal 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 but yeah I, i'm actually with you yeah. i'm gonna i gave this one a 7.2 okay. ultimately only because Tajikistan showed up. Yeah. Like, if, if Tajikistan didn't, this would have been a really bad game. Yeah. All right. And tomorrow we have Iraq versus Jordan and Qatar versus Palestine. We already reviewed these games in a round of 16 preview. So go check that out, please, if you'd like. It's one of our best videos, in my opinion, I would say. A fun one. Please go check that out. And we will be back tomorrow with our review of both those matches. Best of luck to these teams. And once again, congratulations, Tajikistan. And congratulations, Australia, on qualifying to the quarterfinals of the AFC Asian Cup. Peace.